What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm back again to educate and inform and enlighten your mind about the great lithium lie. Lithium iron phosphate batteries are awesome. They're an improvement over previous types of batteries in almost every conceivable way. I'm a huge fan of them. I think they're the wave of the future. I own several of them. And most of you know that I'm also a dealer for MillerTech, which is a low cost lithium iron phosphate battery manufacturer. But I need to set the record straight about a huge lie that you guys hear all the time about lithium iron phosphate batteries and any other lithium polymer battery that I know of, quite frankly, and that is that they can be discharged to 0% without any ill effects. This lie comes up almost every time that someone compares a lithium battery to lead acid batteries. Lead acid is made out to be weak and dead past 50% depth of discharge, and lithium is made out to be able to use 100% of its capacity all the time. Now both of those statements are not outright lies. They have some truth to them. However, a lie can also be a statement that's meant to create a false impression. In this case, the statement implies that lead acid batteries can only be discharged to 50%, which assumes damage or shortened life after 50%, but then implies that lithium can be discharged to 0% seemingly without this same damage or shortened life. That simply is not true. In reality, both batteries have shortened life expectancies the more they're discharged. The difference, and where this lie seemingly comes from, is that if you plot depth of discharge and cycle life on a chart, the curve for lead acid suffers a more sharp decline in the 30-50% to 50 range generally, whereas the lithium iron phosphate battery sees a more of a gradual, almost a linear drop. But as you can see, discharging a lithium battery to 0% does still have a negative effect on cycle life. It isn't nearly as pronounced as lead acid is, but it's still there. So if you're going to compare lithium iron phosphate to lead acid, do yourself a favor and go look up the manufacturer's ratings for cycle life of a lead acid battery and compare it to a comparable lithium battery. Most manufacturers publish this information, usually rated at about 80% DOD. Then you can intelligently compare the two at the depth of discharge of your choosing for a more accurate assessment. As with most things on the internet, if you don't do your research and find out the facts for yourself, you may end up taking someone's word for it that's just parroting the same thing they heard from somebody else. Thanks for watching my video. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up button, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe.